hello guys good evening good good evening good evening it's your girl gracious grace tv uh, grace is my name welcome to this channel please subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell so as to be notified whenever i drop a new video like and comment share guys thank you for watching this video and uh, coming back to this channel hello guys and bye good morning. happy sunday yeah it's your girl grace gracious grace tv I am really happy to do this video. It's my first time of attending my church in Nigeria. Like the church I used to attend as, you know, <laughs> a spinster. I know they will be really excited to see me today. I just decided that I must attend one of their services before I leave because this church is me. Like this is where everything happened. This is where God did all the miracles in my life. You know, taking me from a very young teenager to an adult to like womanhood. I got married there and everything. So I want to fellowship with them today, though I'm going a little bit late, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm able to attend the service with them. Yeah. And I Thank pray next week I should be able to do so too. Up, but I just decided to go take you guys along because I promised that we're going to take you along with, on this journey. Though it has not been easy it's because I have a baby, but yeah, that's Jeremy. Say hi. So guys, please, you should subscribe to this channel, like the videos, uh, turn on your notification bell so as to be notified whenever I uh, upload a new video and enjoy the video, enjoy this vlog because it's, my church is a very huge church. It's a church of 5,000 capacity, Christian Belgian Ministry, Uko Centra. Yeah, my pastor, Pastor Obi Okeke, she's a wonderful woman of God that everybody wants to reckon with. And if you meet her, your life <laughs> will not remain the same. She must influence you in a good way. Like, she's a great woman of God. I'll be excited to meet her again, to see her again today. And I know she'll be really excited to see me because when I was leaving, she told me, Grace, you are my daughter. Like, <laughs> that daughter that I am proud of. I pray to meet you again in good health and really she's meeting me in good health today and I know she's healthy because I've been following her life services and I know she's very very okay. So guys come along with us, we are on airport road, I booked it as a fire, there's, a, uh, there's an app, when I came in they told me about the app, I believe I've talked about it in one of my videos. Guys it's really cheap, honestly it's cheap. Oh. You know, avoiding those stress of standing inside the sun, waiting for a car, pricing up and down. Once you book the, once you download the app, you fill your info, you can book a car. They'll give you auctions, like they have light, they have one other one, I can't even remember. Premium, yeah. So you choose the one you want. Before you know it, five minutes, three minutes, they are already with you. They are so reliable, so reliable. Like in Nigeria, I've never seen anything that functions like this this uh, cab <laughs> app like <laughs> they mean business so honestly they don't disappoint you for any reason if they are not coming as at the time they gave you they will give you a reason why they are not meeting up perhaps maybe it's hold up or something so guys come along with me and see how the service goes maybe i'll be able to uh, take a clip of the service yeah <laughs> i'll show you my beautiful mother in the lord like i'll be okay because she's beautiful Come and see my wonderful family. A family I had aside my biological family. They are my family. Trust me. When I got married, they stoned my wedding. They turned it into a, a church service. It was awesome. It was awesome. So these people, they didn't leave me since I traveled. They used all any situation I found myself. They were there with me all the way. All the way. Like... When I am crying, they are crying with me. When I'm celebrating, they are celebrating with me. They did not leave me. Even though sometimes my character, you know, now when we leave the country, we just feel like, I beg, I don't want all this to Allah. They did not give up. They didn't give up. I've not seen people that will show you love like this. Oh, I don't know other ministries that will do it. But Christian, uh, Christian, uh, uh, Christian Belgian Ministry is a church that I think you should just get yourself entangled with. They are good. Once you have a leader, your leader is going to follow you bumper to bumper, bumper to They make sure you are okay. Even if it takes them to help you financially, they do. They do. True. Trust me, if you don't have a job and you are a member, you are, you are, 
come as and you are constant. You participate in everything they do in the church and they know you. Once in a year, mama used to give money. Though when I was here, I'm this kind of a person that I believe in myself. I believe I can do it. All the time they offered me, I rejected it. I told them I am not a less privileged. I should be the giving to you, mommy, not you giving to me. Pray for me to make it. That was my own stand though. A lot of people saw it as blessing to add the money to their business see, so that the business will grow. But I just used to see it as taking from people. Rather, I want to give. I want to give. I want to be the one giving. That is how I am. I'm, that's why I'm grace, you know. I want to give. I don't want uh, uh, somebody to be giving me. Instead, show me the source where I can make my own. You understand? I have got two hands and two legs and brains, you understand? So I should be able to walk, do whatever to make hands mute. So we are very close to the church. Come with me. Yeah. 